And that's how it, it somewhat translates into business as well. If you're not living that way, then it's just going to be an expression of that in your business and whatever it is you do. Even if you're still working um, in a company, you still represent yourself and that, that company as well. Equates to is a higher level of vulnerability. Because it's scary to be ourselves. It's scary to show the world who we really are. It's scary to show our emotions. It's scary to be a female and to be moody and whatever it is that we're feeling at that moment in time. There's always going to be an element of, ah, she's a little bit scary. But that's what is kind of giving you the clue that that's you pushing yourself and that's what's going to make you grow. Mm -hmm. Left is just recalibrating who you are as a person. Because when I find that when we're more authentic with who we are and we're very stable with who we are and we're grounded, it's much easier to have all those other answers. Because if you look at the reason why you're having those feelings and then reflecting upon that, there's, it goes into a other, another whirlwind of different things that we can talk about. But it's questioning your thoughts as well. Because a lot of the time we feel things and we think things, but they're just habits. It doesn't mean that we need to continue on that cycle. Yeah. So those things are the ones that are going to make the biggest changes the ones that you didn't want to write down because that would mean facing that and by writing it down it would mean that you would be conscious of it which means that if you didn't change it then you would be going against yourself not changing them. Mm -hmm. So doing this exercise maybe at home, maybe when you're a little bit more grounded, when you're by yourself, maybe if you're writing in your diary, just getting brutally honest with yourself about these questions. These are the things that can help attract what it is that you want into your life because whatever you have around you at the moment is either helping you or stopping you from getting what you want. You know, most society, like, oh, how are you? Oh, yeah, same shit, different day. Mm. Or like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Monday. Oh, it's Monday. I hate that it's Monday. But sometimes you actually really enjoy your job. But that's just your response because that's what everyone else says. But just being aware of the things that we just say automatically. It's like, oh, I don't know, I don't really feel that way. But just being honest with yourself. Sometimes I stop myself mid sentence and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't feel that way. Just rewind. I don't mean that. <laughs> and it's just being honest. Another thing with authenticity is, especially with social media, especially with our phones, especially with our laptops, and also when you run your own business, people are constantly wanting your attention. Oh, what about this and this and hi, and they're constantly trying to talk to you. <laughs> but we need to take care of ourselves first. And if we can honour ourselves and know that there are certain people that you need to talk to right now and other people that can maybe wait a few hours. Um, and you know, a lot of what I'm hearing from a lot of people is being more of ourselves and being more authentic and showing more of who we are and allowing ourselves to feel whatever it is that we're feeling and having less of a judgement on ourselves for whatever it is going on. Um, and I found that with the people that I network with, the people that inspire me and from my own experience, the more we can actually be authentic and the more we can actually be ourselves, the more people actually resonate with us and the more we connect deeply with other people and the happier and more fulfilled we are just because we're happy with who we are and really that's all that really matters. So I'd like to honour you guys for just doing that work. Um, it does make a difference. You probably don't realise how much of a difference it makes. Just creating those sort of ripples and then it ends up getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, we have the eight